Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your weekly love reading, okay? So someone here might be dropping the ball. Hmm. Someone here could feel like they dropped, may have dropped the ball in a situation. Current energy of the situation for the collective. <laughs> so immediately what I'm getting in here is, it's time for you to give zero, you know what, zero Fs, okay? Don't give a situation or a person any more energy than what it requires or what is needed, okay? I feel like there's a situation dealing with something or a person and it's got you in a little bit of like, uh, listen, ignore it, okay? Give zero, give it and don't feed it to the attention. Like, just don't give it any attention is what I'm giving because I feel like y'all are giving too much, giving it too much attention or you're giving this person too much attention, literally, like, I'm just going to show you this card, okay? Don't, <laughs> I don't know what it is you guys have going on, but something good is about to happen, though. So, don't be focused on what what, some, what else is going on, because I feel like there's something good for you, but you focus on something else over here, or you seem a little bit distracted by some other stuff going on over here. Some of y'all might even be too wrapped up and busy in your what else you have going on because you've been working on something that's been making momentum or it's about to pick up and have momentum here because we have snake energy okay out here so you might have a snake around you or you know this already i feel like you intuitively know this here the dragonfly energy is here and that's energy of expansion growth you having confidence a, a sense of renewal okay so some change is happening but there are good changes here and then unicorn energy which is really good okay so that in unicorn unicorn energy is all about you whatever it is that you do is you're really great at it right there's nobody like you or there's no one that does what you do as great as you do it or there's a particular way and how you do it that's really really special and unique okay or you you are just a unique being okay but the unicorn energy is also about success freedom healing um magic right and if you believe in unicorns anything can happen right um and and with the dragonfly accompanying the unicorn energy that tells me there's a lot of potential for growth and expansion in your life um but just spirit is saying do not be giving energy and time to things that don't put you in the space or or are not gonna push you down in the in the direction it, whatever you're giving energy to is that gonna get you to where you're trying to go then no don't even worry about what's going on with tom dick and harry or, or karen and them okay but definitely something's good about to happen here. Just don't let your issues, your fears, and being in your head or in your ego mess it up. All right? Because I do feel like that has something to do with it here. There is something spirit is telling you not to do very strongly. Okay? Now is not the time for you to be, I feel like, feeding into a person or a situation. And y'all know what that person or that situation is. Your intuition is already telling you that. Um, your inner guidance is already telling you to be careful around this person or be careful with this choice and this decision that you, you either been putting energy into it or you're about to. All right. What's the challenge here in this situation? Other than the, it's the collective getting, oh, that's too many scared. All right. We're going to take them. Spirit said take them. So we're going to take them. The challenge here <laughs> is for you to be careful. I'm telling you. Spirit is telling you, do not give this any attention. There's an, en there's an energy here of you having some form of emotional balance or you not responding with your emotions to something. Just stay calm and don't give it any energy. That's the best thing that you could do for yourself and have self-control. Literally, this card says self-control. So the challenge here is, is you having more self-control, basically. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is that you're doing or you're planning very carefully, some of y'all are plan planning something or you're working on something and doing something, focus on what you have going on in front of you, not what's, what other people have going on or like... Just focus on you and yours is what I'm really getting here. And if anybody comes towards you with any drama or anything that's negative that does not put you in a, keep you in alignment with where you're trying to go or this goal that you're trying to achieve, you need to just keep it pushing. 
and don't feed into it because I feel like this is something that has a potential to like not hurt you maybe it is hurt you or set you back or something if you feed into it more than what you're supposed to because you have energy of fertility out here which is like again that unicorn energy you being successful whatever you create you're going to get there you are going to get there but it's about you keeping an emotional balance too and i feel like also too whatever you're planning plan plan keep people out of your business keep people out of your business okay they don't need to know everything every move that you make they just don't because i feel like if you're sharing the next move with somebody somebody may have something to say or they may want to you know I, somehow some way i feel like they don't want to see you do better maybe that's because some of y'all might have to leave this person behind and keep it moving and they don't want you to you know it elevate and some people people know when you're when certain people are elevating they know that they can't go with you because they have not grown they have not healed they have not ascended but people have a certain way of trying to latch their energy or latch on to people that they know are healing and growing and elevating and especially who people who are about to be successful so this is giving me an energy of like okay well you're about to be successful and you have some friends who or even a relationship you know maybe that person you're in the relationship with cannot go with you but somebody knows you're about to be successful because they know what your potential is they know how hard you've worked and it's like, but they still like crabs in a pot type deal. You know what I'm saying? So let's see here what your fe your fears are. What are these fears associated with this challenge for the collector? Lack of focus. Lack of focus. Like I said, you allowing other people to distract you. Lack of focus. You see this butterfly is right here. We already have dragonfly energy out here. And this that means... You need to be paying attention to what you need to be paying attention to and minding your business. Don't be minding other people's business. Or if somebody's trying to involve you in something, mm -mm, this is giving me a real good like stay in your lane and, and tend, to, tend to what's in front of you. Okay? Tend to your own pot. So that's the fear here. You're fearing that you, I don't know, like... You're too distracted. Maybe you get easily distracted for some of you guys. Maybe someone here suffers suffers from ADHD or something and it's hard for you to stay distracted. What is it that you can do to put yourself in a comfortable space where you can focus? Whatever that takes, make sure you do it, okay? If that means you got to go to a library, a coffee shop, or close the room door, you know, whatever. A lack of patience is here too. That's another issue for you guys. That's another fear. A fear that something's not going to happen quickly as you would like it to and i know i've been there i've done that uh, i still struggle with it sometimes we're human i get that um i feel like that's where you're really lacking the faith here you know it's like when is this gonna happen when is this gonna happen i'm starting to get sidetracked and paying attention to what everybody else is doing and what they have going on you know let's see what's the solution though to this so what is the solution for this, for the collective? What's the solution? Thank you. Dream big. You have the key, you hold the key to your own success here. There's a need for you to cleanse your energy, cleanse your space, maybe even clean up your home, get organized, whether that is get organized with your paperwork, get organized with some sort of file system, get organized like in a make create a space where you can work and 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 be and your have your flow your creative flow just come easily. You know what I'm saying? Like if you know you work well in an environment where you need sunlight, natural sunlight, create create your workspace somewhere near a window or where you can have natural sunlight. That's what I'm saying. Create the environment to be conducive to whatever it is that you need so you can stay focused, whatever it takes, okay? Whatever it takes here. That might mean cleansing, making, clearing a space to get rid of old things, right? And then organize the things that you need. Because I feel like to me, it's time for you to make room for some kind of blessing, okay? Dream, spirit wants you to dream bigger, okay? 
You might not be dreaming big enough. I'm just telling you, this literally says dream, reach for the stars, but keep your feet on the ground. Then we also have the energy of cleansing, clear some space to make room for blessings to come. So again, another confirmation that you, whatever it is that you're working for, that you're hoping for, that you lack faith in because it hasn't made its way to you yet, is not coming. And it is coming. Um, you have the key to open this door, all right? But the key is something really, really small that you could be overlooking here. And that, for some of y'all, could very well be your lack of focus. You know, if you know it's Sunday, right? And if you're seeing this message on Sunday, you know it's Sunday and you got X, Y, Z work to do. You need to go through, be, create a new website or do your social media for the week or whatever that is, right? Don't be watching football, you know, turn the TV off so you can focus <laughs> What what else here? What's the solution here? For the collector. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. What's the solution for the collector? Oh, look at what just came out. Focus. Focus is here twice. Focus is here twice. I'm telling you guys, I love when this happens. Focus is here twice. So you hold the key like spirit is telling you. So there's confirmation for y'all. Like literally it's something real small. All you have to do is focus. Um, create an environment for you to improve that. Uh, it says you're being asked to shift your focus away from what isn't working and toward what is working. Pay extra attention to where you place your focus in, is the first step towards a creating an amazing life. So if you want this unicorn energy to come in, this dragonfly and this success, Give less energy to what needs to be given energy to, especially if it's, di if it's distracting you, okay? <laughs> then we have check-in. What do, When you think about whatever it is that you're pondering about, take a moment to check in with how you feel about it. Do you feel lighter or do you feel heavier? Excited or filled with dread? Pay attention to your inner guidance. It's always so helpful. So pay attention to like if you have, if you're working, Right. And, you know, you're playing music, but you find that you, you know, do less work or more work when you're playing certain kinds of music or where you're working. What's causing the distraction in your life or what's causing a distraction for you in that moment? Do whatever it takes to keep your dang on focus. All right. That's just the point. Then we have a choice. And so here's another solution. You're being asked to make a choice that you've been struggling with. And it's time to decide which path you're going to take. Listen to your intuition. Eliminate everyone else's input and your way into the choice that is, and feel your way into the choice that is right for you. The time is now. So block out all these other distractions. Stay focused on your goal in mind. Stay focused on what it is that you're trying to to accomplish and whatever it is that your heart desires here. Let's tap into this lesson and see what the lesson is behind all of this as if we already don't know, right? What's the lesson for the collective in this whole situation? Surrender, the need to control, that's the lesson. Okay, one more. Oh, surrender and love and happiness. Love and happiness. I love that. Look at this love and happiness. You're going to have love and happiness. And so you're going to be in like this Ten of Cups energy. It's This is unicorn energy. You can have it all, collective. You can ha literally have it all if you just release your need to control the situation or you release other people's opinions. I don't, and other people's beliefs or beliefs that no longer serve you if you just push forward and surrender to the divine. It says, I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path right now. I commit to seeing the good in all things. So focus on the good, right? Don't focus on what's not working. Focus your attention back on what is working. We just, we just talked about that. So the more you focus on what is working, the better this gets. So let's read surrender to release control for you. It says your need to un you need to understand the distinct the distinction between power and control. You have the power of in internal control, but very little external control over other people or situations. Remember, give give those other people in those other situations zero energy. Give zero, you know what? 
All right. It says the majority of your external control is through the power of influence. You can lead by example. Every soul has its own unique path and it's not your job to dictate that. Giving advice or direction in a compassionate manner is the way to go. Your soul too has a path and your and you possess the power to control it. But you must surrender to the illusion that you have control over another person or another thing. Remember that this is a process and from time to time your ego will rise up and demand that things be the way they should be. And remember that energy came out. Whatever you're thinking about doing, don't do it, right? You can't control other people. Um, it says... Envision a hot air balloon being loaded up with all of the things you think you need to control and let them ride away in the balloon. You'll be surprised to find that when you release that energy of control and accept the energy of surrender, doors were open to you that nev you never expected because you have now given the universe the space in which to materialize what is needed for your highest soul growth. So remember that energy we saw of cleansing dreaming big bigger and better so you gotta like release cl clear some space to make room for blessings once you release this into the ethers right release it into the air imagine the stuff pack that hot air balloon basket up with everything that you feel like you need to have control or you think you need to have control and release that allow it to go up and vision this right some of y'all maybe that's a meditation that you should be doing here that's the lesson in this once you do that this unicorn energy can come in for you the success can come in for you you know this emotional fulfillment can come in for you which is that love and happiness energy that we just saw all right Look at this drama alert just came out. The number seven, 17, 17. This drama alert wants to continue to come out. I'm telling you, be careful how you respond or what you give energy to. All right. It's time for you to really redirect your focus elsewhere and not on whatever this is. It says, take a deep breath and focus inward. The, the whole message here is about you focusing inward and not outward, right? It says you need time to think things over and consider options. At this time, you must relate, rely solely on yourself. You might not believe it, but you're headed in the right direction. What appears to be in, in um, a lull in activity, which means like no activity or like you might feel stuck or like you are have hit a speed bump or something, right? It says what appears to be a lull in activity is just a natural part of the process so release control right surrender this is going in the way that it's, it's supposed to go all right so you're learning this is all about you not anybody else let's get one more because i feel like y'all have some aspirations here all right we have the number 888 here which is karma, balance, finances, success, wealth, cycle. What goes around comes around. A lot of money is coming your way. Fortune refers to more than just monetary and material success. Yeah, we saw love and happiness. So for some of y'all, it could be love. Some of y'all, it's just emotional fulfillment like we just talked about, right? It says, if you don't appreciate the people you have in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. This message encourages you to take a personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential. Okay. Then we have the number 0330. This is about luck. And this is about love, peace, hope, optimism, okay? Transferring responsibility to other people. Have y'all been transferring responsibilities, making excuses, saying, oh, well, it, this hasn't gotten done yet because so-and-so hasn't gotten back to me. That might not resonate for everybody, and that's okay. But you are going to be making progress, even if you feel like you haven't made progress. But I feel like the amount of progress really solely, de it depends on you, collective, Let's, let's keep it real because that's what I'm seeing here. It says, pursue your goals and get what you want. It will provide wonderful benefits for you and the people you hold dear. Your ability to communicate is improving at this time, which will make it easier for you to interact with a broad spectrum, wait, with a broad spectrum of individuals. So, you know, it's time for you to maybe broaden your horizons on like speaking to different people, be open to different perspectives. You know, um, y'all might be meeting new people. You may be introduced to someone new here who might 
introduce you to something new that you didn't know. You might learn something um, that has to do with your creative side or it's going to push you into progress and you, you know, in growth either way is going to aid you in that. So that's going to be your reading, guys. I love you. I hope all is well. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if this resonated for you in any way. I would appreciate it. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, that information is below in the description box. Bye.